Gemini, welcome to your general overview. I hope you're well. I hope you are fabulous. The general overview is exactly that. It's a general overview of the collective energy. Kind of like taking the temperature of the collective, if you will. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I never really know what I'm going to see. Sometimes it's a core concentration of energy, concepts, actions that are happening right here, right now, such as with an Aquarius. They had a good example of that. For a lot of folks, however, I will see energy that's running around in the background, and it has been for a while weeks, months, years. It's something that we're still working through. It's still something very much part of who we are and it's affecting our lives in some way. So that's always a good thing to look at in my opinion. I'm going to say things like past, present, future. However, basic rules apply. Take what resonates, leave what does not. And if there's more than one energy on the board, reverse it as it applies. However, do keep in mind it's meant to be about you. Okay? But there you go. Those are the basic rules. Just because it says Gemini in the title doesn't mean it's for you. It might be for you two years from now or two years ago. Most people are somewhere in between. And if not at all, again, perfectly normal. It's a collective reading, not a private, right? So check your other placements or I will catch you on the next one. That's it. There you go. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Show me Gemini, please. Show me that Gemini energy. Show me that Gemini energy, please. What is going on for the Gemini Collective? What is going on, please, for that Gemini Collective? Show me, Gemini. What's going on, please, for Gemini? Hmm. Oh, my. Yeah. Well, straight out the gate with that. King of Swords, the Five of Cups. Okay. Okay. You've had to make a hard decision. There you are. King of Swords, Five of Cups, Death. I... I don't feel good about something that's ended or it's transforming. You have mixed feelings on the subject. You have mixed thoughts on the subject. Should you care? Does it bother you? Yes, it does. Five of Cups is here. Okay. It's like you're trying to understand why, to what degree. I don't quite know what that death is. It always makes me very, very curious when I see anyone open with a transition card. Six of Swords, typically. World, maybe. Death is interesting. Recent past, having to cope with the ending of something. How did it affect you? Why does it affect you? Let's keep going. The Hierophant. Seven of Cups. Nine of Swords. It's kind of like asking what happened, what went wrong. It, it hurts. It stresses me out. There is a part of the higher self here that wants answers. You know, with the Hierophant there. But he's legit. He's a legit guy. He can be a little stiff. He can be a little tight, a little inflexible, but um, not very easy for him to change. But he still has questions, like anyone else. And he kind of wants to know, in that higher sense of self, what happened? <laughs> I don't understand. It hurts. Is there something I can do about it? Because he's a fixer guy. That's what he does. He likes to fix things. It's on the spiritual plane of existence. He likes to feel right. Right? That's that's what it is to be that guy. He always has that obligation inherently to want to feel right about things. To feel good about himself, spiritually speaking. And Seven of Cups, that's a variety of feelings here. I still see you, in other words, questioning your feelings. How are you taking this? How are you absorbing this? I don't know about the ending, honey. I don't really care. I know that's a really sore point with people. I did it. I ended it. Okay. But there's also the other group of people who are on the receiving end of it. So I don't know if you did it or if you were on the receiving end. I just see the fallout being the same. We don't understand why. Okay. The emotional complexity is such that we're still going with it. Still trying to understand it. We're still poking it. It's still prodding us too. You're poking the subject and the, po the subject's poking you right back. And that's because it, the emotions are still not settled in this. Um... There was a lot of emotional complexity, and it was confusing, and it was fuzzy. It's like... The cups aren't defined, and I think that's why you're still tinkering with it, and why it still feels like it's poking you, because you're not done with it. The cups aren't defined. For some reason, they're blurred. Uh, it's like you're having a hard time understanding your feelings about this ending. And I don't know why. 
it hurts. No matter how you chalk it up, no matter how you calculate it, it, it hurts. It hurts. And it, I see it this way, that way, that way, crosswise, up, down, midline, left line, right line. It, it, it hurts. You, by the way, you might have some Scorpio Taurus in your chart. Very strong aspects, both very strong spiritual aspects, by the way. Um, or you could be connecting to either. That's not the point. Okay, three of wands, eight of pentacles, the sun, literally waiting, hoping, and expecting, and working towards happiness, moving forward the chariot. And I might have some cancer in your chart as well. So I like how in your overview, immediately the idea is the chariot. So you have a focus, you have a goal. I do need to move forward. Okay. And that's true for a lot of people when things happen that are not comfortable, not easy. We know inherently as human beings, we're meant to move forward. Time does not stop. Time stops for no man. It keeps going, yeah? You know that you are meant to move forward. The idea is, is how come your emotions are hanging back? into this space of negativity. Why do you still feel confused? Why do you still feel hurt by the subject? Regardless if you did it or if it was done unto you, the results are the same. Why is this still hurting me? Well, let's figure out why, because you, you know you're supposed to move forward in the chariots there, and that's a big player, not to be dismissed. So I know it's available to you. The question is, how can we get you there, okay? Because uh, nobody wants to stay in that feeling. And I do see a beautiful turnaround for you in the future. Three of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, the Sun. Literally, the definition of that is with good expectation. Not unreasonable, but reasonable expectation with the Three of Wands. I'm looking on the horizon, and I see myself working. I see myself being productive. I see myself putting myself into something, and it's making me happy. The Sun is making me happy. So... Do you get to moving forward and feeling better about you? Yes. What are the conditions? I don't know. I just, I like it. I do. I like it, but let's get cracking. Let's start right there with the chariot. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I was being told, I focused on that one almost immediately. Said to use this one. First. Show me that chariot, please. Show me the chariot. 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 Four Gemini, show me that chariot, please. Show me that chariot, please. Show me that chariot, please. Show me the chariot, please. What's going on? Show me that chariot, please. Hmm? Page of Cups, the world. Eight of Swords, there it is. Again, the idea is that uh, I need to move forward. But I'm still confused and hurt. Okay. Something got shut down. That's here. The world is here. Death is here. Okay. And we're confused about our feelings. Okay. It feels like some part of our emotionality was rejected. Eight of Swords, we're all up in our head about why. This is confusion, blindness of confusion. Um, what you're saying is that you don't know. I disagree. I'm going to push back on you in a little bit. You do know. When we say Eight of Swords, that automatically means you know, but we don't want to acknowledge it. We know. It's been hard for you to move forward because there's parts of this ending that you have not been able to fully accept or digest. And I see that a lot. Again, that inherent need for human beings to move forward, move forward. The will is good. The will is strong. The intention is correct. But without the appropriate background work behind it, moving forward becomes an obstacle in and of itself. In other words, we're not ready. Okay? So what happens is it's kind of like a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm kind of a gym nut. <laughs> <laughs> Sports person, no. Gym nut, yes. I'm really into physical fitness and um, used to be really into running and things like that. Um, so it's like, I'm going to go run a marathon, right? That's my goal is the chariot, but I do no prep work behind it. What's going to happen? You're going to get an injury, right? You're going to get an injury. You do no prep work, no conditioning, um, 
all the background work that needs to happen before you can go tackle a, a 26.2. Okay. That's, <laughs> you don't just wake up one morning and be like, I'm going to do that and expect all these awesome results to happen to me. No, no, you're going to get hurt, right? Um, it's kind of like that. There's the idea here is that you have a big goal in mind. I need to move forward. But you're going to create more obstacles for yourself if you're not prepared to move forward. Um, and this is where we cause ourselves harm when we meant to cause ourselves good. Okay? So let's do our background work first uh, about our emotions. What the hell's going on in there? I know, I see you trying to understand them in the past, I do. But it's like you're still no wiser for where. Why do you still feel stuck? It's done, it's been done. So what's there to be confused or upset about? Why am I taking my feelings to a headspace and then I shut them down? That's because we're not done with them. Especially the complicated feelings or the negative ones, right? If it's negative and it adversely affects us or shapes us, we don't want to look at it, we take it to a headspace, shut it down. Eight of swords, procrastinate, put it off. I don't want to look at it. And that's because it's, it's an admission. It's just an admission that's saying the feelings are hard, they're difficult. Whenever you try to open your heart towards exploring them, it's still difficult, we shut it down. So we don't want to get caught up in that anymore, right? We want to retain our goal and move it forward. Your idea of moving it forward, does that need to be adjusted or shifted? That, don't get me wrong, the goal is correct, but how? Not everybody's idea of the sun is the same, nor does it remain static. Not everybody's definition of the chariot is the same, nor should it remain static. Sometimes we have to relearn how to move forward or move on. And it's not always as straightforward as people think it is. Okay? All right, let's get cracking. Show me death, please. And if you did experience loss, I'm sorry. We have a couple of indications here that suggest that might have happened in the real world with an actual physical being. And I'm sorry if that's the case. Okay? I believe it to be a big no-no in my world to not acknowledge that. It causes more harm than good. So, if you did experience loss relatively recently, or even if it was a while ago and you still haven't quite gotten to terms with it, which would explain a lot if that's you, I am sorry. Loss and the dealing of it is not a straightforward process. Okay. Show me. Show me death, please. Show me death, please. Show me death, please. Four of cups, ten of cups, jeez Louise. Yeah. It feels like somebody handed down a harsh sentence. Yeah. Guys, so if it's at this point where this kind of reading, like real tarot, makes you uncomfortable, or it upsets you, or it takes you to a bad head space where you don't want to deal with it. You know, you have a choice. Okay, stick around if it speaks to you so you can learn from it. Or if you stick around but you're not open to it, it's just going to frustrate you further and anger you further. And that's not why I'm here and that's not why I want you to stick around. Okay. I do do the real stuff and that means having difficult conversations. They're not pretty. But this is what it is to be human. So, if you wanted the other stuff, there's plenty of that other stuff on YouTube. Um, you know what I mean. Oh, oh, everything's fantastic. The blah, 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 blah. P.S. a million dollars. I don't do that. But I also don't want you to go out of your way to challenge yourself to ingest a message that isn't for you. Or you're not ready for. Okay. Okay. With death, something, somebody here, it's a harsh, it feels harsh. It does feel harsh. And it feels like it was something that was handed down to you. Um, that That's very firm energy, or at least that's how you're interpreting it. Uh, the emperor, somebody handed down a harsh judgment. Uh, it, 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 it suggests disappointment. Um, it suggests pain. 
and a firmness of will that suggests it's non-negotiable. Okay. Uh, Scorpio, Aries doesn't have to be. I, I don't know why people like it when I call out the signs. It's about the energy behind it, but if the shoe fits. Okay. Um, somebody handed down what looks like a harsh decision. This is non-negotiable. They're saying from a very firm, and I believe it's them, but again, reverse energies as applies. I have to say that often. The emperor is saying, I'm in pain. I'm upset. I'm disappointed. And I'm saying this through strength of will, standing on my own two feet. This is, as I understand it, 100% true to me in my experience. This is over. Okay. That's pretty harsh. It is harsh. It also looks honest to the point of, of hurt. Um, but it was honest. Somebody said, whatever this is. I don't know what this is, honey. I don't know. I don't know if this is a family dynamic. I don't know if it's a friend dynamic. I don't know if it's a boss dynamic. I don't know if it's a lover dis... I, I don't know. I don't know. You will. It either applies to you or it doesn't. Okay? That's pretty, that's pretty damn harsh. It speaks to pain and disappointment, but also being like, this is also true. This is true. This is... It, it's reasons. I see it. Reason, 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 reason. Sword, 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 sword. Four cup, four cup, four cup. It's, it's pretty harsh. Okay. And I believe King of Swords, you. Five of Cups. I believe that's your pain. Show me this King of Swords, please. Show me the King of Swords. Show me that King of Swords. Show me that King of Swords. You are hurt by this. You are upset by it. Um, ah, you're processing it. I oh, know. Seven of Cups. They're in the dead center reading, too. I'm going to have to see that freaking Seven of Cups. Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. Yeah, okay. I see you communicating with this person. I do. I saw you, I see you talking to them, or at least you did. And you tried to deliver your messages as best you could. With swiftness, the Knight of Swords, and Seven of Cups. For some reason, the messages that you were sending this person, they came in rushed. Okay? Um, it's kind of like I have the answer. But the answer is perhaps not what you want, but it is an answer. It's kind of like that. Okay. Through the action and communication here, I am seeing an admission of feelings. But I'm not specifying what. Okay. I th you were conveying something on the emotional level, but it was still very vague perhaps rushed. Okay. It didn't feel possibly terribly sincere. Um, your, your response was kind of right here on the surface. Okay. I'm not saying it wasn't important to you. I'm not saying it didn't have meaning. What I am saying is that your response is very light, fast, fluid, and doesn't have the depth to which you were being met on the other side with someone else. It was like, this This is pain, this, this is hurt, this is disappointment, and this is real, very real, coming from the Emperor. And I have somebody else here, and I believe it's you, saying, I have the answer, it's just, I just don't have all the answers, but I have some answers. So I know that you were trying to communicate with it, and I do believe you're trying to fix something within it. Um, but the depth, I think, was not being met with the severity of the subject. Okay, The response wasn't being met correctly, I believe. Maybe you were trying to keep it light. Maybe you were trying to rip the band-aid off and just get through it. Because there is this sense of, I'm talking to you and I'm trying, but it's coming in fast and not as thoughtful as perhaps maybe you liked or needed it to be. The Seven of Cups, as we know, is fuzzy. 
its options in love, in other words, it may not be taken very seriously if we're not looking at the feelings with the depth that someone else might need or that you might need. Let's get over here to that Five of Cups. Because I know you were affected by this. I'm not saying you weren't. But for some reason, the communication response is so very light um, compared to the subject matter that they were bringing forth, it feels like. And again, reverse energy says it applies. Okay. Show me that Five of Cups, please. Show me that Five of Cups. Show me that Five of Cups, please. I do believe you are being honest, but perhaps the answer wasn't as full-bodied as it needed to be. I don't know. I don't know. But that Seven of Cups suggests the comprehension of the full scope of one's feelings are either not there and we're kind of saying what we need to say or we hadn't taken the time to define our feelings okay that was somebody Intuitively, we felt confident that things would be okay if we took our time, kind of stretched things out, made thoughtful decisions. We intuitively felt things would be victorious or okay, and uh, they weren't. They were not. It was too much lightness, too much lightness on the surface. Okay. Um, Intuitively, we felt things would be okay and victorious. Okay. But instead, there was disappointment. My Five of Cups. I don't know where that sense of victory is coming from, but it's kind of like we had this feeling that everything would be okay because we're talking. And it's that feeling of taking it for granted that just because we're talking, things will be okay. And it's in stark contrast to that Five of Cups that said, again, there's there's a weird sort of lightness and and um, lightness and, and surface and everything's okay and uh, we got to say what we need to say and this is my answer and, and da, 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 when there was a bunch of depth behind it that was not being addressed. So the intuition here was not incorrect. In correctly speaking, somebody's intuition felt things would be okay with confidence too and I think it would have been had there been more depth given to the situation okay um, and the response here that you have there is sadness in you and regret and, and pain and hurt. You were hurt too. Okay. You also feel it's a matter of time before you feel okay. And perhaps that's true. I see your willingness to move forward, but it's kind of like you're being met with bumps in the road, a fair amount of them. Um, I know that your kind of response is like, what the fuck? But again, it, the lightness, the way this was addressed, okay, there's a certain surface to it that suggests that's not what the situation called for. It needed more depth, I think. Because again, the energy for which you're being presented was serious and uh, it was really real. And perhaps that was the idea, maybe you felt it was too intense or too much in depth and you tried to keep it light when perhaps you were like maybe I can pull it up to here and this person's with seriousness is down here and maybe they needed you to come down to where they are so that they could explore the deeper shit but maybe you're thinking the interpretation was well if I can raise them up over here and keep it light then we can just move it forward and 
for some people, that's what they need, but that's not what this person needed or the situation. I don't know about this person, it's the situation. The situation needed more depth than it was given. And in that process, honey, because you're showing me, I got to move this forward. I really don't have much time for this. Okay. Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups. Let's, let's come on. Get it, get it out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And I understand that, let's say, if you are just trying to, say, work, that makes sense. Okay? Um, things should not be going to that deep of a place. <laughs> but that's not, it's, th this person doesn't represent work, I don't think. Um, the situation, I don't think, represented work. It kind of represented more of our full attention and focus. And um, somebody was showing up with full intention and focus and a certain level of seriousness. And this is, this is my truth as I understand it. Um, and the other person greeted them with, uh-huh. Let's, let's get it back up here. Surface, let's go. Smooth it out. Let's go. Fast. Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. There's seven of cups. Okay. Um, and this is interesting. I, I really think that you felt intuitively that things would be okay. I do. With a little bit of conversation, you're saying everything was going to be okay. But there's something in here about time and distance that said otherwise. How long had it been since you two last spoke? How long had it been since you two last saw each other? That's kind of like our clue, our heads up, that this kind of coasting wasn't going to fix it. Um, there's something in here about time. Let's, is, I'm trying to show a certain amount of delicacy here because while I do feel that most of this is Gemini dominant, um, I don't want it to seem like I'm judging you. That's not why I'm here, okay? For some Gemini somewhere, this is kind of imprinting on this Gemini's energy pretty intensely. And that's why I'm saying it today. So again, no judgment. And if you find yourself highly sensitive to this, and you're reacting poorly to it, again, you don't need to. Okay? I always have your best interest in mind, and I'm just trying to set the platform to understanding what the hell's going on. I have no stake in this. Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> you know? Show me the hair font, please. Show me the hair font, please. Show me the hair font, please. I think um, perhaps you can identify or relate what it's like to be in this position when you're the because I know what it's like to be on this end of things. I that serious shit. <laughs> it's taking strength of will to say something that's extremely powerful and personal. And you wouldn't be saying it unless you thought the person on the receiving end was listening and that they were going to share and understand and help fix it. And you had that impression that they would. And then it turns out they just kind of wanted to coast through it. And if you can appreciate what that's like, having been on this side of the energy or on this side of the energy, yeah, misunderstandings occur. All right. Some of that hair font, please. Some of that hair font. Knight of Cups. King of Swords. The Hermit. Okay. That's why we hang in there, honey. I was really close to scrapping it. <laughs> I was really close to scrapping it because I just... Uh, it, it's, it's tiresome, honey. It's tiresome to be an in-depth, honest reader. And then people will absolutely shoot you the messenger for it. And it, it's exhausting. It takes something out of your spirit. And it takes something out of your, your emotions. Um, you know, you get to that point where you start compromising your own work about, should I just let this one go? It's the people who need to hear the message the most are the ones who are least likely to receive it. And um, 
but then you become a hypocrite and then you start becoming flexible and uh, you start going against your own ideals and um, that's just not who I am. Sometimes you have to speak up and say uncomfortable things because it's deeply true for you and you can only hope the other side receives it with the same amount of depth that you deliver it and that doesn't always happen. So that's the situation I'm in every day. I deliver hard things with a certain amount of depth and firmness every day and I don't know how I'm going to receive it. Some people love it, some people hate it, and some people are like, yeah, 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 give me the fucking quick notes. Like that, you know? Um, when there's times like this, I'm glad I hang in there. <laughs> I didn't quite know how this is going to turn out, and I still don't. Um, I don't know when, but right now, even as we speak, I believe it's your energy, okay? You might have some very strong earth components in your chart. Virgo, Taurus? Anyway, um some point in your energy, there's that King of Swords. That flavor that we were missing back here in response to this. Um, we're catching on to that. Where it was kind of... Whew. Okay, here's my reaction. Here's some words. Here's my reaction. Here's some words. This is what I can afford to give this right now. Um, I don't know if it was bad timing or if you just weren't able to, to go down here where that person needed. Okay, because I think you were trying to do this when they needed you to be down here to understand things at a different level, at a different depth, not to try to drag you down. That's different. I mean, I need you to get down here where things are a little bit more serious and talk to me. Okay. Um, I think we're starting to appreciate that more and the energy is starting to flip for you. You're showing me depth, experience, understanding, and wisdom in your higher self in accordance to your feelings that perhaps were not so defined previously. Okay. Now you're showing me something much more personal to you. So you went from a seven of cups to mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to knight of cups. This this is more me. This is more my my coming from me. This is my personal expression here. Okay? And it literally is coming from you, King of Swords. The Hermit, you have thought on this, you have reflected on this a great deal, um, and your higher self is kind of like, yeah, okay. I'm healing things within me. I'm getting back and acclimated more to my spiritual self. Good. That's always a good thing. So it's not just about them, baby. It's about you. Everything begins with you, okay? When you are more in touch with yourself, you will better know and understand and appreciate perhaps where somebody else was coming from. I don't know what it was, honey. I don't know if it's situational, circumstantial. I don't know if you were just off your head, running around, being crazy, and you were like, I can, this, 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 and this, it, do you see how different the energy is? The intensity, the severity, okay? The, 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 the. and you're like, yeah, 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 totally. Totes, totes the same, totes the same, totes, I'm right there with you. I gotta go now. Uh, but let's continue this conversation another time. It kind of feels like that. And I, I have to insist, if your intuition was here telling you that it was going to be okay, it's because you were right. It was going to be okay. But the feelings, the background had to be addressed. The depth of that severity had to be addressed. Again, we don't want to just go signing up for a marathon thinking we got it. <laughs> you will get hurt. And that's what happened here. I think somebody presented to you a kind of marathon of feelings um, and intensity, but it's legit with the emperor backing that up. The willingness to transform with death. If not, it needs to end. I mean, all those concepts are in here and they're all pretty fucking serious, right? <laughs> so, and then your response is, whew, got it. Job done. No. So this, where I think this, present, like I said, presented you a marathon and you're like, I can totally run that. I can totally, ah, injury, injury, injury. And yeah, we, we got hurt. We got hurt. We got hurt, hurt on both sides. You got hurt. They got hurt. Everybody got hurt. Um, and the response to this and whatever this person needed and, and look at you pulling out your spiritual big guns. That's not them, baby. That's you. That's 100% you. Okay. Look at that. Look at all that. Look at all that. Look at that growth. Look at that spiritual development. That's beautiful. 
You know, your higher self says, that, that wasn't me. I know that wasn't me. I know that wasn't me. Perhaps it was the situation, the circumstance, or the depth that this person was asking for. Maybe that was a bit much. I don't know. But it's what the situation... I don't even know if it's what they needed. I hate that they shit. It's what the situation needed. Okay. So I don't want to just put it off on them. It was the situation, baby. And now look at that. Look at that beautiful turnaround. So do I see you shifting gears and saying, I've learned from this, I've grown from this. Um, you know, I have, I, have, I have more flavor in me. I have more of a personal ID when it comes to my emotional expression. I'm not some Seven of Cups asshole. I'm a Knight of Cups. I know how to represent my feelings. I know how to speak unto my feelings. That's the Knight of Cups, the Knights. We must remember their job is to go outside of us. Okay? Um, I can express myself better than that. More than that, I'm not some surface asshole. I'm not some surface guy. I have depth to me. I have experience. I'm a healer too. I'm thoughtful. I have shit. You know? And look at you. This didn't grow overnight. It's almost like you temporarily forgot who you are. You know? Let's talk about that Seven of Cups. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. This is why we're here. Let's talk about that Seven of Cups. Let's do it. Show me that Seven of Cups, please. Show me that Seven of Cups, please. If I have done my job correctly, as well as other things, <laughs> yours comes out Friday. Comments will be back on Sunday. Or whatever the mid-month Sunday is, honey. I record these in advance. <laughs> I lose track of time real easy. <laughs> This Sunday, uh, mid-month Sunday, uh, if I've done my job right, the comments will be back on. And I'm excited by that, and I hope that you are too, and I will discuss all that later. Seven of Cups, there, there, there it is. It's all relevant, honey. It's all related. It's all relevant. It's all relevant. It's all related, and it hurts you more than you knew, and that's the last thing that you wanted. Okay, I got it. Was that so hard, babe? No, of course it wasn't. But it can feel very... I was about to walk right into that. I was about to walk right into that with a he said I was about to walk right into that. <laughs> you're smart, you're Gemini, you'll figure it out. <laughs> what I almost said. <laughs> oh, you know, honey. I, I got a dozen of them. There's that there's that confusing seven of cups that caused so much trouble back here. Oh, I just I don't I don't know. Maybe this will suffice. And the thing is it hurt us. They see there's that five of cups in a very different position back here. Here it is, it's under the moon. It did hurt us quite a bit. You were upset too. You were hurt too. And the thing is the last thing you wanted. It's that's your truth, honey. That's your truth. It's the last thing you wanted. It was the last thing you wanted. You didn't mean for that to happen. Okay. I know it's not who you are. I don't know why you momentarily forgot such huge aspects to yourself. They are huge. So many of you are healers and you're thoughtful and you're deeply spiritual. And you take your time to understand yourself. And that's who you really are. And I, I don't know why that wasn't presented back here when the situation called for this the most. <laughs> As, and you weren't there, but that's... It's turning it back to where it needs to be. And it's, the, it's, it's, it's not what you meant to do. You didn't mean to present that surfaceness. You did Is that a word? Do I care? Um, the answer is no. Sometimes you just got to be a perm. Move on. <laughs> just move it forward. <laughs> uh, I, no, you didn't. It's the last thing you wanted was to hurt, to get hurt, for them to be hurt, to cause more strife for pain. And it, it, what we really wanted was to emotionally harmonize. And I know there's sometimes it gets really tempting to get in that space like it doesn't matter and just move on. And we want to do that, except it's not working. Remember that opening right here? I want to move forward. I don't know how. And something's roadblocking me. That's because we know inherently in the deeper parts of ourselves that we didn't want us ourselves to get hurt or the other person. In fact, we meant to do the opposite. We meant to emotionally harmonize. And that would mean having a stronger representation of showing up in our truest form, in our best form, and the one that I'm looking so resplendently in the Gemini today. Uh, what you will do with this, I don't know, but I do know this, that Seven of Cups was not how you meant to represent yourself to this person, okay? The delivery of it, your emotions for the situation go much deeper than that. Um, 
You meant to harmonize, not deharmonize. You meant to stabilize, not destabilize. And for some reason, this did not have the full bearings of your weight or your focus when it needed it the most. I, I, the situation and circumstances might have been at play where your your highest form and your highest form is beautiful, and your truest colors for some reason just weren't as apparent. But that doesn't mean this is who you are permanently. I think that's just who you are right there, right then. Okay. Um, so what you will do with this, I don't know. I just know that the emotional truth in you suggests I didn't mean to be on the surface and I didn't mean to cause harm by being on the surface. I know I can represent my feelings better than that and my intention was to emotionally harmonize the situation. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's beautiful. Love it. Love it. Okay, the Nine of Swords. However, the stress is real. The idea is great, Christina. Now I know these things about myself. What do I do about it? That's up to you. Doesn't matter what I see on this table. All things rely upon you, on you, your decisions, what it is that you are energetically inclined to do versus what it is you allow yourself to do. All that. It just depends. Um, show my nine of swords, please. Yeah, I think the severity of this, there's an understanding here about the time. When was the last time you talked to this person or saw them in person? That kind of told you how much weight perhaps you needed to give this when it represented itself or the difficulty of the situation was as such that it needed more of your focus, not less. And um, that Seven of Cups delivery just did not do, you know? But we know that. We know that now. Show me that Nine of Swords, please. Nonetheless, stressful. I understand. We gotta speed it up. I gotta keep these under an hour. I will explain that on the, and you will understand that. And you will. I know you will. And I'll explain it on the mid month. Two of Pentacles. What? What do I do about it? <laughs> that. Yeah. I'm. I'm. You're. You're showing me waiting elements. Three of Wands. Three of Wands. Uh. What do I do about it? The universe, which is the world in this deck, and the Three of Wands. Wait. It's stressing me out. I don't know what to do. If I wait, it stresses me out. If I say I need more time, that's stressing me out. And if I address it right here, right now, Christina, let's say I tried to fix it today, right now, as you're talking, as you're talking, I'm writing a hypothetical email of what I would say to that person. Okay. Would that even be sufficient? I know. I know. I know. That's all on your mind. The idea is, is, is it too late? All right. That's first and foremost a summary of, of that mess. You know, is it too late? Uh, of course, the answer is going to be no. It is never too late for anything. It just depends on our willingness to try, uh, regardless of what we understand or perceive the other person's reaction to be. If we hung up everything we did, everything we wanted to say, everything we thought we should feel, confess, confess, I was trying to say convey and express, turned out to be confess. For some of you, it might be a confession. There's a reason I said that for some of you. Um, if, if we hung up everything we did and said, etc., based on someone else's reaction, we would literally get nothing done in this life. And more to the point, we would be utterly, utterly, profoundly helpless, ignorant, stupid, and inauthentic. Honey, if everything I did just for me was hung up on the reactions of someone else, I wouldn't be here today. Okay? You cannot predict or guarantee the reaction of anyone. All you can do is honor yourself. If you want to do something about it, you will. But if you get into this state of perpetually worrying about it and being anxious and I don't know what to do, you will indeed do nothing, even though you want to do something. Because I know whatever this is was not the best representation of you at that time, in that moment, in that place. And perhaps what they were presenting was a great deal of gravity at one time. And it even challenged your most highest self, which is very beautiful. And, uh, but we just know that surface doesn't work, not with this situation, okay? Right? If we know it doesn't work, don't keep doing it. That's the Nine of Wands, that's the Insanity card, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So I know this. If you're gonna reapproach it, and you need more time, okay, fine. Just don't stay stuck there. It takes next to nothing to talk ourselves out of something and to stay that way. I need you to do what's right by you. Live through that feeling and that belief and you will be guided accordingly. Okay? Um, and the other person's reaction is theirs, if at all. Point is, are you honoring yourself? Right? 
uh, see the real you. For some reason, they didn't have the opportunity to see the real you when they needed it or not they. The situation called for it. Okay? And you want to know if it's too late. No, it isn't. But you know that. Okay? Um, so you want to know how to move forward and why you haven't been able to and why you feel stuck? It seems to me the advice is pretty straightforward, yeah? Okay. So some of you are just not quite there. Let's see if that Three of Wands transitions well into your future. I might call your message something really stodgy and old school. What the situation called for. <laughs> you ever hear someone of, uh, someone of authority say that? What the situation called for was <laughs> the three of wands. Will you show me that three of wands? You know, if you've ever had kids, uh, like I do, I have a 10 year old, and he's like, young lady, what the situation called for. <laughs> so no, you are never too old to learn, and you are never too old to apologize, and you're never too old to make mistakes, and you're never too old to learn from said mistakes, you know, um, ever. You are never too old to confess. You are never too old to have a truth that's been hidden. You are never too old to have feelings that are, wah! Oh my God, it doesn't matter if you're 10 or 100, you are alive. <laughs> you will be subject to any and all these things. It's just what makes us different from other people is our ability to handle it, you know? You ever met that person who just seems like they can handle anything and everything with honorability and just stand upright and do this? They had to get their ass busted to do that over and over again. Okay, let's see here. That's, oh, Knight of Cups, there it is again. Okay, we're not ready to talk about it yet. Okay. Um, I don't think that you're quite ready to open up towards this just yet. I think you want to be. I still see you kind of playing for time. I just, I don't think you're giving yourself enough confidence in your higher self. But it's still with you, and it's still going to cause you a certain level of restlessness. Okay? Just something to make note of. The more you wait for a perfect time to readdress this, if at all, I'm not saying you have to. Again, that's your decision. I just know that the more you tell yourself, I, I want to say something, but I don't think now's the time. The more we do that, the more it's going to hurt and exacerbate the situation. In other words, my, my concern is for you you're still showing me frustration and conflict between wait, waiting to give yourself permission and waiting for the so-called time to be right and there's just no such thing. Um, there's the longer we delay, there's more delay here. Um, it's not going to feel so good, okay? Because you still have an emotional truth in you that would like to express itself, but I see it again as more concern about what they would say or do. You know, show me that eight of pentacles, please. But uh, I think you're working through it. Show me that eight of pentacles, please. Show me that eight of pentacles. Show me that eight of pentacles. Show me that eight of pentacles, please. Judgment. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there you go. You're feeling better about this? All right, I see you putting work into it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. <clears throat> I apologize. I know it's annoying. Uh, Eight of Pentacles, Judgment, Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands. I mean, honey, the world is your oyster. I just... It's... The reality you wish to see is yours to create. You know, think about all your experience because you have quite a bit of it. Every bit of your experience has told you when you put work into it, you get results. Um, it's your judgment. It's your call. It's just but one of many lessons in this life. And it's yours to deal with as you see fit. But uh, do know that it is a source of inspiration for you. It's a challenge for you. It's a good lesson for you. It's a good fit for you to learn. And the thing is, I have to insist, you've already learned the lesson. It's just, 
a matter of applying it and you feeling comfortable applying it. And we've had this discussion for you before. <clears throat> we've had this discussion for you before. Now, in fact, I think that was literally one of the focal points of one of your most recent messages. But yeah, I mean, the world is your oyster and it's the reality you live in is the one that you actively construct and build. Um, there's never a good time to do anything, but you do have the, the, the tools, the skills and the abilities. You have the knowledge. And uh, I know many of you are putting work into your functions, like your 3D functions, such as job, and that's, that's smooth. That's eventually going to be on autopilot. If it's not already, it will be. Um, no. I just see you waiting on you. Okay? Yeah. I see you cautiously finding a way to move forward in this, in a way that feels right and comfortable to you. Okay? And the sun. Show me that sun, please. You can move forward, honey. You can. But if you want to move forward the right way without injury, you figure it out. Show me that sun, please. Show me that sun, please. Show me that sun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. There they are again. Even though you don't quite know. <laughs> Even though you don't quite know what the response will be, you, you've... You, you kind of do, though. <laughs> you kind of do, though, don't you? Like, you, you know, right? Like, you know but you don't know, you don't want to take it for granted, and you don't want to assume. I understand you never want to assume. Um, and that's what delays a lot of people is because I'm afraid of their reaction. And that happens a lot. Uh, we've already discussed that. Just please know, I see that it's... <laughs> this is, it's actually kind of cute in a fun way. In a funny way. I don't quite know how to explain it. It's like, you know what they're like. This person has a very strong will in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you do too. It's just, it's funny because you don't see it that way. Um, the hermit and the hair font, you don't think that they have strong wills? Honey, they're two major players. They have very strong wills. It's just their strong will has a velvet glove on it. So when they push, they push back softly. The emperor, he's, he's not wearing that kind. He's wearing like a gauntlet. <clears throat> <laughs> So, and that's that's it. They they think that the her have you ever tried to argue with or dissuade a hermit slash hierophant type of person? Because this is what they'll be like. Oh no 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 no. You 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 you're no you do you honey. That's that doesn't mean it's for me though. But that's great. I totally support that. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. And then they'll say something like that for 10, 15, 20 years. Where at least with the emperor, you know what you're getting. He'll be like, nah. Or, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's just a softer firmness versus a more upfront firmness. That's it. So if you think that you two aren't alike, you're very wrong. You two are very much alike in that respect. So if you think they have such a strong will, you do too. It's just in your own way. Okay, well, I can tell once you've made up your mind on a subject, you have tend to made up your mind on a subject. I've seen it. Did I not point that out? But it's there. Um, the sun, five wands, the emperor, the magician. Here's the thing. It would actually make you very happy to manifest this energy, person's energy back in, even if it meant being a little argument. <laughs> or frustrating. It's like you anticipate it. It's like... I knew you were going to say that. It's kind of, <laughs> I like how you go from, I don't think I can talk to them. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. I, my, your higher self says otherwise. So stop saying that. All you're doing is delaying. You're just delaying what you feel is right. That's all. That's all you're doing. 
to, uh, okay, I can do this. I'm going to put work into this. I feel good about it. I feel good. I feel like this is the right thing for me. Literally, judgment, ace of wands, caution, but still eight of pentacles, legit work. I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to put something myself into it. It feels right. And then you you go on to full on manifesting that emperor's energy, and it would make you very happy to do so. You've come to terms with that, um, to reconcile under that particular sun. And But it's like, if, if they're pissed off, that's fine. I know that. I expect it. <laughs> so... That's cheeky. I like it though. <laughs> I like it though. And that's great. That's great. That's exactly what we were talking about. You cannot assume the other side's reaction. So you're like, you know what? Even if they respond to me, it would make me happy. You know, and uh, you don't know. You don't know, but you are kind of hedging or leaning towards once you get over this this thing about you waiting on yourself and warming up to it and feeling better about engaging in it again. Um, because you know you can. Back here, for some reason, you couldn't or wouldn't. I don't know why. That's up to you. Um, but reapproaching it, you do feel good about it eventually. Uh, and uh, it's almost like it would make you happy to see them pissed off because at least they're responding to you. But it's... <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. But you know them better than I do. So even if it's like a, a quick cue, you, you'll be like, but you still said something. It's, you know kind of like that it's kind of like that i don't it's if i don't know but you're willing to absorb it you're willing to absorb it because it would make you happy it's making you happy to manifest this person and to put work into it what the approach will be how it falls out how it comes into play i couldn't say that's up to you and it's more so in your future orientation uh speaking of which let's talk about that because there is a time delay here and this idea of you moving forward just in the general sense of just moving forward I think it comes down to how willing you are to kind of reapproach this and clean it up, you know. I don't know if it's going to be around forever. I don't know if it's you just wanting to clean it up so you can move on uh, before you let it go. It could be something like that. I don't know. Um, the point is that I know that you would feel a hell of a lot better if you did. Okay. Uh, fall time. That's right around the corner. Where are we on July? Fall technically starts depending on where you are in the world. I mean, when fall starts pretty straightforward isn't it For some of you it's now it's pretty succinct hand in hand um july into fall somewhere around there okay i think i'm seeing the process is when you see that conversion energy okay this is who i really am this is what happened i'm anxious though about reapproaching it but i don't feel like i can move on and leave this alone until i know i can reapproach it for my higher self but i don't know if i feel good about that or confident about that just right now i want to make sure i'm still in place with everything and i still feel good about it okay let's put some work into it so around here july up into the fall that's that whole process um yeah so and you're right you can't you can't you just can't you can't i mean you can do but oh my god wouldn't that be a miserable existence if we hung up everything we did thought or felt based on someone else's reaction. I don't know what their reaction will be, but I actually think it will be, for some reason last January is important. Um, and possibly this upcoming January, but you'll know. Uh, I, I, let's see what, oh God, we don't have the time, baby. I gotta keep it under an hour. I have to. Um, given the outcome is the sun, I think they're happy. I'm confident of it. You're just showing me you're willing to assume the responsibility if you get a not happy reaction. I, I think, uh, I think the feedback you get is makes you feel good. Okay. There might be some roughness around the edges, but I think you already expect that too. That's enough. I do hope this helps you. Okay. I will see you in a couple weeks for your next reading. Take care. Be well.